It is Tuesday, 6.28 p.m. I just got done with my weekly therapy session, talking to my therapist, which would make sense considering it was a therapy session. If I were to say that I was talking to a chef during my therapy session, it might be something you'd want to be a little con concerned about. Um, nothing really extravagant or wacky happened in that session. Just another conversation with the doctor suggesting that I get involved more socially. My issue being that I don't do small talk very well so engaging people that I don't know is difficult. I understand that there are certain social lubricants that are necessary in order to maintain or establish relationships and I don't do very well with those. You know, I'm the kind of person that uh, I tend to be a bit more direct in terms of the desire for conversation and I'd rather have a conversation about something a little bit more substantial than the fucking weather or the local sports team so that's just part of the conversation that I have with him but the reason why I'm making this video is because it was something that I didn't talk to him about so I may have mentioned this before, I don't know if I have, but I've had the weirdest experiences emotionally when I was dreaming. What I mean by that is, in circumstances in the dream, events that were happening in the dream, would inspire emotional reactions that I've never had while being awake. You know, strong emotional reactions to something. A feeling that I've, that helped me, it's a feeling that it's, oh, that's what it means when you feel whatever, you know. I've recognized the feeling for what it is, but it's a dream, you know. And I've always been under the, um, not the impression, but I've always been under the understanding that, you know, the, the dream process pulls from experience, you know. In a dream, if you stub your toe and you feel it in the dream, it's pulling from a memory of when you did stub your toe. So you had the experience itself, and uh, that experience helped build the, the, the uh, tapestry that is the, the dream. But here I am having these dreams and having these events in these dreams that uh, summon an emotional reaction that I've never had while being awake. I've, I've had a lot of dreams within the last, I'd say, couple years of my life because I've been, you know, single for almost eight years now. Um, and whenever a, a relationship in the dream occurs. There's an emotional reaction to that. And um, different types of emotions, you know, everything from, from intense feelings of uh, attachment, something that, you know, coming to understand what it feels like to truly want to have somebody in your life and to need to have them in your life, that, that intense feeling of uh, attachment and connection, which I've never had in my life, things like that, you know. Um, and the reason why this has become more of a complication is because those feelings, uh, at least residually, are starting to mix into my uh, regular life, you know. Like the other night, I had a dream where somebody that I, I know in real life, they, they uh, started. Now, a lot of times in my dream, there are people that I that I know that aren't really them. You know, there's there's somebody who represents so and so. This person isn't your mother, but there's enough traits of that person that they represent your mom. That kind of thing. Well, I also have the occasional guest star of people in my real life who are represented in this dream by them. Anyway, so towards the end of this one dream that I had, this person who I I know in real life, who uh, at one time I had establish some sort of emotional I, I got I had feelings for you know um, nothing came of it circumstantial circumstances just didn't have anything come from it but you know there was there was a, a feeling of attraction towards this person you know that kind of thing anyway this person made a guest appearance in my dream and you know we just we kissed in the dream kissed and uh, you know no, nothing nothing more extreme than that it was just it was just a there was a couple other things that happened but nothing you know it was just, when I say things I mean like sitting next to each other or, 
you know, talking. Those, that's what I mean by it when I say things. Um, there was other things that happened, and the, the, it wasn't just like, there she is, we kissed, that's the end of the thing. It was, there was other things that happened as well. But um, there was emotions that were summoned or that were created because of that experience that bled into my awake state. So here I am now, interacting with this person in some magnitude, and I'm having an, this weird emotional reaction to that interaction. Based on what? You know, it wasn't like I actually had this event occur in real life. I didn't have these events happen. They just, you know, it was, it was a dream, and yet there's this emotional component to it that's really disturbing. Well, I guess disturbing is not the right word, but it just... It feels odd to have feelings based on a dream. Let me just say that, you know. So, yeah. That's uh, what's going on with me in terms of um, life. Something I wanted to talk about, bring to your attention. Discuss, if you will. Of course, I. there's no parking. I'm an idiot for pulling into this parking lot. Um... So yeah, that was just what I wanted to talk about. I didn't bring that up to my to my therapist, but I felt like sharing. So there you go. I'm sharing it with you all. I don't know if you guys have ever had that experience where you know emotions from a dream have bled into your life and affected how you were actually feeling. If they have, then we've got something in common. And if they haven't, then I'm a freak. Anyway, I hope everybody's doing well, and I guess I will talk to you all later.